Forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
corrupted nature of man, O Almighty One. By it thou hast renewed our entrance to heaven. For thou art good and the lover of man. The righteous shall await me until thou shalt reward me. Thou didst lose the tree's verdict of disobedience, O Savior, by being voluntarily nailed to the tree of the cross, by descending to hell, O Almighty God, thou didst break the bonds of death, Therefore we adore thy resurrection from the dead, singing in joy, glory to thee, O all-powerful Lord. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Thou didst smash the gates of hell, O Lord. And by thy death thou didst demolish the kingdom of death. Thou didst deliver the race of men from corruption, granting to the world life in corruption and great mercy. Let thine ear be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Come, O people, let us sing of the Savior's resurrection on the third day. By it we have been free from the unbreakable bonds of hell. By it we have received life and incorruption. Save us by thy resurrection. O life creating and almighty Savior, glory to thee. If thou, Lord, wilt mark iniquities, O Lord, shall stand. For with thee is forgiveness. Angels and men, O Savior, sing of thy resurrection on the third day. By it the ends of the earth have been illumined. By it we have been delivered from bondage to the enemy. Save us by thy resurrection. O life creating and almighty Savior, glory to thee. For thy name's sake have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. Thou hast shattered the gates of brass. And destroy the chains of death, O Christ God. Thou hast raised the fallen human race. O Lord, risen from the dead, glory to Thee. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch. Let Israel hope in the Lord. O Lord, thy begetting from the Father. Timeless and everlasting, thy incarnation from the virgin is beyond words and understanding. Thy descent into hell is terrible for the devil and his angels. Thou hast trampled on death, rising on the third day, and granting men in corruption and great mercy. In the first song, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. 
Tikhon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for the right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, our command right Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. This country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, with the seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple for those who labor and those who sing and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have Oh. 
lead our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. What 
an angel reply to them, Weep not, but go and proclaim that the Lord is risen, granting us joy as the only compassionate one. Glory in the fifth song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. transgressions, and I cannot lift them up and see the light of heaven, but receive me, O Savior, in repentance as the publican, and have mercy upon me. Now and ever in the same song, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O most precious virgin, thou art the gate and the temple, the palace and the throne of the King. From thee, my Redeemer Christ the Lord, appear to those who sleep in darkness. He is the Son of Righteousness, who desired to enlighten his image whom he had created. Since thou hast a mother's boldness before him, O lady worthy of all praise, pray unceasingly that our souls may be saved. with thee. 
Chase me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are stuck fast in me, and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have gone over my head, they have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds stank and faster in the face of my foolishness. I was wretched and bowed down unto the end. I went mourning all the day long. My bones are filled with insults, and there is no health in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humble, thy Lord, and groaning in my heart. Lord, all my desires before thee, and my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of my eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. They that sought my soul, took to violence, and they that sought evil to me, spoke empty things, and advised deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, heard not, and was as a speechless man, not opening his mouth. Now the king is a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no reproofs. But the O Lord have I hope. over me, for when my faith was shaken, they spoke false words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me, for I will declare my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. For my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly have multiplied. They that reward evil for good have slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, and tend to my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, and tend to my help, O Lord, of my salvation. God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn. My soul has thirsted for thee. How often is my flesh longed for thee, and a barren and trying plus of water was left. So I'll about here before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and my glory. Thy mercy is proud of life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, and I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joy for lips. If I remember thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my help from the shelter that I lean to our rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand is a help me. But they shall after my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth, they shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword, they shall be forces for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, every one that swears by him shall be praised, for the mouth of them must speak unto things this time. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and the shelter that wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand is a pilgrim. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, incline an ear to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evil sin, and my life is drawn nigh unto hell. I have encountered with him to go down to the pit, I have become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain to sleep in the grave, and thou remembrest no more, and they are cast off in my hand. They laid me in the lowest pit and dark places in the shadow of death. Thy anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy ways upon me. I was removed, mine acquaintances far from me, they made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up and not gone forth. My eyes are weakened from poverty. I cried in the old Lord all the day. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. If thou work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise him up, and they shall raise thee. So anyone tell of thy mercy in the grave, and of thy truth and destruction, shall thy wonders be known in darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness. But of thee have I cried, O Lord, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, 
front and don't still cast off my prayer and turn aside face away from me. I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled and distressed. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water, all the day long they surround me together. I was put far from me, friend and neighbor, my acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I pray day and night before thee, let my prayer come before thee. Incline an ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with the things. So that thy youth be renewed as seeds. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for them that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses as well to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long suffering and plenteous and mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end. He leave the angry friend. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sin. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has taken his mercy for them that come. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our iniquities from us, as the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them with him. For he knows our fasting is remembered that we are dust. As for man's days were like grass, as the flower of the field, so the course. The wind passes over, and it shall be no more, and no longer shall it know the place so on. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them with him, and his righteousness to children's children, to them that keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Blessed Lord, O ye his angels, smiting his strength to do his word, haunting the voice of his works. Blessed the Lord, O ye his host, his ministers that do his will. Blessed the Lord, all his works, and every place of his dominion. Blessed the Lord, O my soul, and every place of his dominion. Blessed the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give to my supplication by truth. Walk in me in thy righteousness, and to not to judge with thy servant from thy sight, shall no man let me be justified. The enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth, he has set me in dark places, my foes one day. And my spirit was despondent within me, my heart within me was troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated in all my deeds, all the works of hands that I meditated. I spread forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts for thee like a waterless man. Hear me, spill a word, my spirit has failed, do not take face from me, lest I become like them to go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. When I should walk right, what to my soul to thee? Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, I fled unto thee for refuge. I do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of rights. Thou shalt put me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, and in thy righteousness thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction, and thy mercy thou wilt lay waste my enemies. And thou wilt destroy all them that put my soul, for I am thy servant. Put unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not to judge with thy servant. Walk unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not to judge but thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now when I run to the age that age is on. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for his beatitude our Metropolitan Tecon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis. For the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy habitation, this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered. 
from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he All that nations come to me round about, but in the name of the Lord have I driven the them back. Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he I shall not die, but live. to the tomb and unable to endure the angel of flame, the myrrh-bearing women marveled, trembling, and said, Hath he been stolen away, who hath opened paradise to the thief? Or hath he risen, who even before his suffering proclaimed his resurrection? Truly, Christ is risen, granting life and resurrection to those in hell. <coughs> Arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Forget not thy poor forever. In thy voluntary counsel thou didst endure the cross, O Savior, and in a new tomb mortal men laid thee, who by thy word didst create the ends of the earth. Wherefore the alien one was bound, death taken grievously captive, and all those in Hades cried out to thy life-bearing resurrection, Christ is risen, remaining the bestower of life forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Joseph marveled, beholding that which transcendeth nature, and pondering thy seedless conception, he dwelt in thought upon the dew which fell upon the fleece, the bush unconsumed by the fire, and the rod of Aaron which put forth branches. And thy guardian and betrothed cried out to the priests, The virgin gives birth, and after birth-giving remains a virgin. Praise the name of the Lord, alleluia. Give praise, O servants of the
which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles, and their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes, laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which had come to pass.
up upon the tree of the cross, setting aright our fall, O Master, and healing the destruction wrought by the tree, in that thou art good and almighty. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou wast in the tomb bodily, and in Hades with thy soul as God. Thou wast in paradise with the thief, and on the throne with the Father and the Spirit, O Christ, thou infinite one who fillest all things. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The people were shaken, the nations were troubled, and mighty kingdoms bowed down out of fear of thine offspring, O pure one. For my king came, he cast down the tyrant, and hath delivered the world from corruption. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. We see the exalted honor that comes through humility and the grievous fall that comes through pride. Let us then emulate the good actions of the publican and hate the evil sin of the Pharisee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Every good deed is made of no effect through foolish pride, while every evil is cleansed by humility. In faith let us embrace humility and utterly abhor the ways of vainglory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I groan as a publican, and with lamentations that are never silent, I now draw near, O Lord, to thy compassion. Be merciful to me also, for I now live my days out in humility. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Lady, I dedicate to thee my understanding and my counsel, my expectation, my body, soul, and spirit. Deliver and save me from grievous adversaries and temptations, and from every threat to come. My church rejoices in thee, O Christ, and cries aloud, Thou art my strength, O Lord, my refuge and my firm foundation. 
to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, the tree of life, the true noetic vine, hanging upon the cross, pouring forth in corruption upon all. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, as one great and awesome, as the one who cast down the arrogance of Hades, and as God incorrupt, thou hast arisen in the flesh. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The essence of men is purified, having been united through thee with the unbearable divine fire, O all pure virgin, baked into bread which was hid within thee, and who preserved thee unharmed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. From the dunghill of the passions, the humble is lifted up on high, while the proud-hearted suffers a grievous fall from the height of the virtues. Let us flee from his evil ways. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy upon me. As the publican, let us also beat our breasts and cry in compunction, God, be merciful unto us sinners, that like him we may receive forgiveness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us cast away, ye faithful, the swollen boasting and evil folly of the Pharisee, his loathsome pride and wicked cruelty hateful to God. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. In thee, my only refuge, have I set my trust. Let me not fall away from my good hope, but grant me thy protection, O pure virgin, and deliver me from every hurt inflicted by mine enemies. As thou art a living and abundant spring, establish, O Theotokos, those who sing thy praise, forming a spiritual chorus, and in thy divine glory count them worthy of crowns of glory. the publican overcome with shame and sorrow at his evil deeds when he cried out to the creator be merciful but exaltation brought down from righteousness the unhappy Pharisee who spoke in pride therefore let us earnestly desire the good things and avoid the bad glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit in days of old humility exalted the publican who cried aloud lamenting be merciful and he was justified let us all follow his example. We have fallen down into the depths of evil. Let us cry to the Savior from the depths of our hearts. We have sinned. Be merciful, O thou who alone lovest mankind. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Be swift to receive our prayers, O Lady, and bring them to thy Son and God, all blameless Queen. Deliver from tribulation those that run to thee. Crush the devices and cast down the impudence of the godless who attack thy servants. When thy church saw thee lifted upon the cross, while thou son of righteousness, it stood in array and fittingly cried out, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, in the suffering of thine all pure flesh, in which thou hadst willingly clothed thyself, thou didst descend the cross, healing my passions. Wherefore, we cry out to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Death, having tasted thy sinless and life-creating body, O Master, died as was meet. And we cry out to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The invisible one, becoming visible, dwelt with men. He who is in the form of the unapproachable divinity took on a form alien to himself through thee, O Maiden. And he saveth those who acknowledge thee to be the pure mother of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The word who humbled himself even to the form of a servant showed that humility is the best path. 
to exaltation. Every man then who humbles himself according to the Lord's example is exalted on high. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Though he was rich in virtues, foolish pride brought the Pharisee to poverty. But in the extremity of his need, the publican was justified through his humility. Let us also gain humility. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Savior and Master ever leading us to divine exaltation. In his actions revealed to us the humility that raises us on high. For with his own hands he washed the feet of the disciples. Now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, who hast borne the light that no man can approach, with thy light-giving radiance disperse the darkness of my soul. Take me by the hand and guide my life into the paths of salvation. Thou, my Lord, art a light that has come into the world, a holy light bringing back from the darkness of ignorance those who in faith sing praises to thee. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. In thy mercy thou didst descend to earth, O Lord, and lift it up upon the tree, thou didst raise up fallen human nature. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou, O Christ, hast taken away the con condemnation of my transgressions, and thou, O compassionate one, hast destroyed the pangs of death by thy divine resurrection. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the Son of God, making his abode within thee, made thee for us a house of glory, the holy mountain of God, his bride, bridal chamber, and temple of sanctity, a paradise of everlasting delight, O pure one. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Let us make haste to follow the Pharisee in his virtues and to emulate the publican in his humility. And let us hate what is wrong in each of them, foolish pride and the defilement of transgression. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Pharisee thought to drive swiftly in the chariot of the virtues, but the publican outran him on foot for he had yoked humility with compassion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us wisely cast far from us the wicked arrogance and boasting of the Pharisee, that we may not be stripped of divine grace. Now endeavor, and unto ages of ages, amen. O loving Virgin, unto all of us who flee to thee for refuge, grant us staff of strength, give us victory in the midst of all our enemies, and deliver us from every hurt. I will sacrifice to thee with the voice of praise, O Lord. The church cries out to thee, having been cleansed from the blood of demons, by the blood that through mercy flowed from thy side. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, girded about with power, thou didst descend the cross, and as God didst wrestle with the tyrant, and thou didst cast him down from the heights, and with invincible power didst raise up Adam. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Radiant and comely, thou didst arise from the tomb of Christ, and didst drive away all the enemies by thy divine power. And as God, thou hast filled all with gladness. Most holy Theotokos, save us. <clears throat> of old the serpent beguiled and slew me through my first mother Eve. But now, O pure one, he who fashioned me hath through thee called me back from corruption. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The publican and the Pharisee ran the race of life together, but the one was overcome by foolish pride and brought to shameful shipwreck, while the other was saved by humility. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Master, thou hast shown to thy disciples the humility that raises men on high, girding thy loins with a towel, Thou hast washed their feet, and so prepared them to follow thine example. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Pharisee spent his life in virtue, and the publican in sin. But the one was foolishly abased through his pride, while the other in his humble-mindedness was raised on high. Now endeavor, and unto ages of ages, amen. I was created naked in innocence and simplicity. Then the enemy clothed me in the raiment of transgression and the grossness of the flesh. But now, through thy mediation, O maiden, I am saved. As we celebrate the sacred and solemn feast of the Mother of God, let us come clapping our hands, O people of God, giving glory to God who was born of her. And again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy. 
mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Of the our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. eternal judgment, we may be numbered with the faithful and the righteous, receiving forgiveness. Let us pray to see the true peace of the age to come, where there is no more pain, no sorrow, no groaning from the depths, in the wondrous Eden fashioned by Christ, for he is God, co-eternal with the Father. The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace, burning with love of true godliness rather than the flame, cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Washed in the divine blood of Christ, mankind has been recalled to incorruption. And in thanksgiving it sings, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thy tomb, the wellspring of our resurrection, hath been shown to be more splendid than any royal chamber, O Christ. For it bore the life and is truly more beautiful than paradise. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The fire of love for the Virgin, which is within my heart, moves me to hymnody, so that I cry out to the Mother and Virgin, O blessed one, the Lord of hosts is with thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The publican used humility as a ladder and was raised to the height of heaven, but the wretched Pharisee was lifted on the rotten emptiness of pride and fell into the snare of hell. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In our prayer, let us fall down before God with tears and fervent cries of sorrow, emulating the publican in the humility which lifted him on high. And let us sing in faith, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast warned thy disciples, O Master, teaching them not to think proud thoughts, but to be numbered with the humble. Therefore, O Savior, we cry aloud to thee in faith, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Beauty of Jacob, and divine ladder, which he saw of old, stretching from earth to heaven, O Holy Virgin. Thou bringest down from on high, God made flesh, and thou bringest up to heaven, mortal men. Daniel, stretching out his hands, stop the rounds of the lions in the tent, while the youths, the lovers of true piety, girded in with virtue, quench the power of the fire as they cried aloud, all ye works of the Lord bless the to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, stretching forth thine hands, thou didst gather in all the nations, O Master, and didst reveal the one church which hymneth thee unto those in heaven and on earth who sing together. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, him and exalt him supremely forever. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, the angel clad in white, resplendent in the unapproachable light of the resurrection, appeared to the women, crying, Why seek ye the living in the tomb as one dead? Truly Christ hath arisen, and unto him do we cry, All ye works, him the Lord, and exalt him supremely for all ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The Lord of all who fashioned thee of the rib of Adam became incarnate of thy virginity. 
Unto him do we cry out, chanting, Bless the Lord, all ye works, and exalt him supremely forever. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O ye faithful, let us avoid the pride of the Pharisee. Let us not say, as he did, we are pure, but let us rightly follow the publican in his humble thoughts, which gained God's mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O ye faithful, let us utter the words of the publican in the holy temple. God be merciful, that with him we may obtain forgiveness and be delivered from the vile boasting of the Pharisee. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. God accepted the groaning of the publican and justified him, and so he showed to us all that he is turned to mercy by the groanings and the tears of those who beg forgiveness of sins. Now endeavor and unto ages of ages, amen. I have no other help save thee. Thee I offer, O pure and blameless virgin, as my intercessor and my mediator with him whom thou hast borne. Set me free from all that <coughs> grieves me. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting Him through all the ages. The offspring of the Theotokos, sing the innocent yours in the furnace. Then He was prefigured, now He is Himself at work, and He gathers together the world as it sings. Praise the Lord, O and highly exalt him unto all the ages. The Atokos in the mother of the light, with honor and magnify his song. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim. Seraphim, 
suffering which thou didst endure bodily on the cross, imparting salvation wholly unto me for the sake of thy great compassion. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, beholding thy tomb open and the God-bearing grave clothes emptied by thy resurrection. With the angels thy women disciples said, Truly the Lord hath risen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. We behold thee as a lily arrayed in a robe, dyed by the divine spirit, all pure one resplendent amid thorns, and filling with sweet fragrance those who sincerely magnify thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ has set before us the abasement of the publican as a path to exaltation and a pattern how we may be saved. Let us follow his example, rejecting disdainful pride and gaining God's mercy through our humility. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Let us cast out from our soul foolish pride and learn to think with truth and humility. Let us not try to justify ourselves, but let us hate the delusion of vainglory, and so obtain God's mercy with the publican. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A publican once <laughs> went up into the temple with faith and prayed to God, and he was justified, for he drew near with tears and cries of sorrow and contrition of heart. In obtaining mercy, he laid aside the whole burden of his sins. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. <coughs> we honor thee, all pure virgin, and we magnify thy childbearing. Grant us worthily to praise and bless and glorify thee, for thou alone art blessed. Thou art the boast of Christians and an intercessor acceptable to God. Let all mortals born on earth carry torches in spirit leap for joy, and let the nature of the bodiless ones keep festival, and honor the holy feast of the Mother of God, and let them cry, Rejoice, O blessed and pure Theotokos, ever virgin. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. While the myrrh-bearing women fall prostrate, let us learn of the resurrection of him who hath dominion over the heavens. With Peter, let us hasten to the sepulchre of life, and, marveling at what has taken place, let us remain to behold Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us flee from the wicked boasting of the Pharisee, and let us learn the noble humility of the publican, that we may be exalted and cry aloud with him to God, 
Be merciful unto thy servants, Christ our Savior, born of a virgin, who hast of thine own will endured the cross, and with thyself raised up the world by thy divine power, now endeavoring unto ages of ages. Amen. The maker of creation and the God of all took mortal flesh from thine undefiled womb, O Theotokos, worthy of all praise, and he renewed the whole of me, of my corrupted nature. As before childbirth, so he left thee again after childbirth. Therefore we all praise thee with faith, and we cry, Rejoice, glory of the world. In the fourth song, let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. To thee, O God, is to us song. Praise him, all ye angels of his. Praise him, all his hosts. To thee, O God, is to us song. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Thou didst endure the cross and death, and didst rise from the dead, O Almighty Lord. We glorify thy resurrection. Praise him with tuneful symbols, praise him with loud passion symbols. Let every breath praise the Lord. By thy cross, O Christ, thou didst free us from the ancient curse. By thy death, thou hast suppressed the devil, who was tyrannizing our nature. Thou hast filled all things with joy by thy resurrection. Therefore we cry out to thee, O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. In the third tone, arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Glory to 
gratitude our Metropolitan Tikhon for his grace, Bishop Alexis, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the Right Reverend Abbot of this Holy Monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
Tikhon of Moscow, founder of this holy habitation, of the venerable Timothy of Simbola, whose memory we keep this day, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves them. the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It was very early in the morning, and the women arrived at thy tomb, O Christ, but the body which they desired was nowhere to be found. Wherefore, two angels clad in shining garments, standing before the perplexed ones, said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is risen, as he foretold. Why do ye not remember his words? And believing them, they proclaimed the things which they had seen. Yet the glad tidings were thought to be false. So slow yet were the disciples, but Peter, at and seeing within himself, glorified thy wonders. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way. When wilt thou come unto me in the midst of my house? I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have said no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart has not cleaved unto me. The wicked men who turned from me I did not know. He who speaks secretly against his neighbor, I have driven him far from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. Mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land, that they might dwell with me. He that walked in a blameless way, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, that I might utterly destroy all the works of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Where when the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou didst shine forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for thou didst blossom forth the flower of incorruption. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, who is God of all, beseech him to save our souls. Order my steps according to thy word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and so will I keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn and glory thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, or cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Let us flee from the pride of the Pharisee. Let us learn humility from the publican's tears. Let us cry to the Savior, have mercy on us, O only merciful one. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all the salvation to the promise of blessings to come. 
O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us by thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host who may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou into ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. God, who us and bless us, and us, and have mercy on us. Amen.